Pomp and festivities returned to Washington after over two years. Emmanuel Macron and his wife were visiting and the United States wanted to do all it could to make them happy. Ties between the US and France have been strained since the last year. This was when Australia junked a deal for procuring nuclear submarines from France and instead opted to get them from the United States as part of the AUKUS initiative. Most recently, France and the US have been at loggerheads over Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, which has infuriated governments across Europe. European nations say that the gigantic climate and new energy legislation will kill its industries and create an unfair playing field for the American manufacturers. In fact, Europe even threatened Washington with a trade war, a retaliation. And as Francis Macron visited the US, Joe Biden appeared to succumb to European pressure. Hello and welcome, this is Shubhangi Sharma and you're watching First Post. French President Emmanuel Macron travelled to the United States as a leader representing the European Union this time. Since his arrival on Wednesday, Macron made France and Europe's displeasure with Biden's domestic economic policies very clear. Speaking to ABC News, Macron said that Biden's legislation could hamper relations between the US and Europe and freeze multinational investment on both continents. That had the desired impact as Joe Biden made a big statement on Thursday with French President Emmanuel Macron by his side. Biden admitted that there are glitches in the $739 billion legislation called the Inflation Reduction Act, insisting that these glitches can be fixed. But that's easier said than done. Fixing a legislation which has already been signed by Biden would require approval from Congress. Here's where things get complicated. Democrats no longer control the House of Representatives. Republicans will make it their mission to derail any proposal relating to the Inflation Reduction Act, which never had the GOP's support to begin with. And Republicans are taking control of the House in January. To make matters worse, the GOP is not the only roadblock in the path of amending the contentious legislation. Democrats have already indicated that they are not willing to make any changes to the act. Democrat Senator Ron Wyden, who leads the Senate Finance Committee, has said that he has no intention of reopening the act and added, Congress values America's partnership with the EU. But that cannot mean undermining one of the signature elements of our landmark bill. Now, what is the Inflation Reduction Act? This law seeks to incentivize American businesses to rely more on renewable energy sources. In fact, renewable energy companies are being offered billions of dollars in incentives. Besides, the legislation offers tax cuts and energy benefits for companies investing on US soil. That's not all. The Inflation Reduction Act also encourages consumers to buy American. All of this combined, and you have European businesses suffering a major disadvantage in the United States and around the world. In fact, European nations also fear that the Act will be able to lure industries out of Europe into the United States. Therefore, it is no surprise that in recent days, Europe launched a scathing campaign against the US. European governments have accused the US of war profiteering by selling natural gas at inflated costs to the bloc. Now, the transatlantic alliance is under severe stress and countries on both sides of the Atlantic falling foul of each other will have a cascading impact on the West's campaign to support Ukraine. So, Joe Biden must act soon and calm tempers in Europe. But the road to do so is hardly easy. It involves walking back on key elements of his flagship legislation, all while the Republicans control one chamber of Congress and important Democrats hinting that the law won't be tweaked. So do you think Europe will get what it wants anytime soon? Do let us know in the comments.